The National Black Golf Hall of Fame celebrates and honors exemplary achievements of blacks in the golf industry. The organization recognizes business and community leaders, regardless of race or ethnicity, who ensure blacks are presented opportunities to participate in any facet of golf. During the early 1900s, the game of golf was growing at a record clip. The Golf Association of Philadelphia City Council and the mayor's office joined forces to create a public course for its citizens. Completed in 1916, this course would be known as Cobbs Creek. It came to be widely considered the preeminent public golf course in the United States, providing residents with access to the game, including black golfers. In fact, the United Golfers Association hosted their 1936 and 1947 national championships at Cobbs. Since its inception in 1916, Cobbs Creek Golf Course has been a haven for people of all backgrounds and skill levels. The course, designed by the Philadelphia School of Architecture, has acted as a welcoming and inclusive place for all. Men and women could always test their skills against this best-in-class course, whether new to the game or a seasoned vet. Cobbs Creek has continued to be a shining example of unity and togetherness throughout history. From its founding, it embraced both black and women golfers, even before women had the right to vote. Cobbs Creek acted as a home course to the great Charlie Sifford. It was regularly frequented by other prominent golfers, including Howard Wheeler and Joe Lewis. We are Philadelphia, and we're not the kind of people to sit idly by when there's work to be done, when there's a chance to make a difference. And yet, right here in our city, Cobbs Creek, the legendary golf course, where women played alongside men, and Charlie Sifford prepared to break the color barrier, where Golden Age architecture and historic routing that follows the creek itself sits in disrepair. This is our opportunity for greater, to create a world-class public golf course with purpose, a place where professionals can be challenged and beginners can discover the game, where locals can work, students can learn, athletes can practice, and people of all backgrounds can be, play, and grow together. We are Philadelphia, and our goal is greater for all. When restoration is complete, it will be a living monument to the golden age of architecture and a tribute to the African-American golfing community. Local schools, cultural exhibits, and tours will ensure that the story will be shared for years to come. Harold Vonner III ushers in a new chapter at Cobbs Creek. Vice President of the Cobbs Creek Foundation Executive Committee, Chris Lang Jr. said Harold is a great ambassador for our project because his mission and our mission are so intertwined. He is the man he is today because some good people in his hometown provided him access to public golf at an early age. The Cobbs Creek Foundation looks forward to doing great work with Harold and the HV3 Foundation for years to come. Hey guys, being an ambassador of um, Cobbs Creek has been a uh amazing experience um i think it's uh i think it's a great note to uh what they want to do with their project basically just helping the african-american community i know they care and uh once again congrats the national black golf hall of fame is honored to welcome the cops creek golf facility to its class of 2021